In this video, we are going to study about the canal falls. In previous uh, module or uh, chapter, we had studied the various distribution systems and canal headworks. That means uh, for the canal or uh, uh, during the construction of this uh, canal, or we had studied the various cross section. We had studied the losses. We had studied the cross section. Uh, that means uh, how we can decide the cross section areas of this canal. How we can find out the discharge to this canal. So maintenance. How we can do the maintenance of that canal. So here are some structures. These structures will be provided or constructed in between the path and in between the flow of the water which is carried out in the canal structure. So by uh, implementing and by constructing all these structures, definitely we uh, should uh, we are going to reduce the all the difficulties that will occur in between uh, that will occur from the starting point uh, or from the construction point uh, to discharge the water safely to the uh, given purposes so let's start with our first structure that is the canal falls See, a fall means uh, water is allowed to fall down certainly at a given uh, depth. So, you can see that image also. The ground surface is uh, giving here or is showing here. And the water will be allowed to fall on this surface. And then through this bed channel, again, the discharge will be taken place or taken properly. So fall is an irrigation structure constructed across a canal to lower down its under level and destroys the surplus energy liberated from the falling, falling water. Yes, certainly the canal, when we say that canal is a uh, most economical one, when it uh, reaches and when it gains the increased velocity. So once it uh, gains the increased velocity, so certainly the silt will be in a suspension order and the silting will be reduces that we had already studied in previous module. So, uh, so generally this uh, velocity water has the tremendous velocity and if we are allowing to flow this water and when we allow this uh, water to fall down uh, and it allowed to pass through the canal section certainly some section will be bridged out and will be damaged. So to reduce that kinetic energy here we need to provide the canal or uh, fall section across the canal. So, in the ancient, the people always try to avoid fall by aligning canal along the zigzag route. They will provide the zigzag route. Even you, uh, you had seen this in a treatment plant also. When we are taking the raw water from the natural river or natural sources. So, basically for the aeration purpose or for the uh, column uh, that uh, alum dosing. Uh, that column of a zigzag will be provided and when this water is allowed to flow this so certainly the energy will be dissipated uh, from this point up to this point so certainly when the, the water will reach up at this section so it will be a very uh, it, it has a very uh, safer kinetic energy we can say so in ancient time, they avoid uh, the fall section. Instead of this, they provide the zigzag route. So in order to uh, increase the length of the canal and uh, thus the, it dissipate the excess energy, which is held in a friction. So the basically the falls were first constructed by the British in India in 19th century. So we have a uh, types of a uh, falls that make that Ogi fall, 
in uh, chapter 3 spillway also we have a og spillway one of the best section of a spillway when we adopt this spillway certainly we can say that by using this spillway we can dissipate the excess energy which is flowing from the upstream side of a dam and this uh, water and this uh, water amount will be discharged safely on the downstream section. Here also we have a types of a falls are foggy fall, rapid fall, stepped fall, not falls, vertical drop falls, then glacial type falls. So here you can see the Ogi canal fall. Like Ogi spillway, here also the Ogi section, the curved smooth section will be provided uh, to dissipate the increase to or uh, to dissipate the uh, kinetic energy of the flowing water properly. So you can see here we have a certain increased ground level, so which is uh, showing upstream flood sea level. So here uh, after uh, when it reaches up to a OG section. So what happened because of this smooth curve section and because of this uh, fall, uh, depressed section exactly the kinetic energy will be dissipated and the flow will be taken and flow will be carried out safely in further uh, the direction of the canal. So here you can see the Ogi fall will be provided. This is the Ogi fall. Once the water will get flows here, you you had uh, you had uh, remember the hydraulic jump also. So based on the frog number also, based on the supercritical and subcritical phenomena, this jump will be created. The rapid varied flow, we can say that. So based on this, we here we judge this uh, that Ogi fall section also. So the, the these are the Ogi the this Ogi fall was first constructed by Sir Robbie Cotley on the Ganga Canal. See this type of a fall has a gradual convex and a concave curves. So basically with the aim to provide a smooth transition and to reduce the disturbances and the impact. See this prevented the energy. Due to this the Kogi fall had the following defects. Certain defects are also uh, has. There was considerable drawdown effect on the upstream resulting in the bed erosion. Due to the smooth transition the kinetic energy was preserved till sufficient depth was called out below the fall to ensure the formation of hydraulic charge. So here also, though we are providing this OG fall, certainly we need to provide certain section or certain obstruction in between the path of the flow that is called as a energy dissipation block. So what happens is though this water is flowing on this, so because of this the erosion will be also takes place but if this falls at this point and if it again increases, again increases its level so certainly this kinetic energy requires and some uh, obstruction to dissipate this energy or this energy should be equal to zero then and then we can say that the flow uh, that will be occurred in the canal is the safe one. So these have certain defects also. Then uh, secondly, we have the uh, we have the second type of a fall are rapid fall. So rapid fall uh, means the only a certain slight section will be provided if this is a bed, if this is the bed of the canal, and this is the upstream section. So by tilting and by giving the certain slope area, this fall will be constructed and fall will be given so that the, here the certain 
water will get depressed and then it again increased and again it flows on the downstream side. See such type of a falls were provided in the Yamuna canals. See such a fall consists of a glacier sloping at one into one for the vertical and is to 20 to 20 for the horizontal. So the long glaciers assured the formation of hydraulic chum. So because of this glaciers formation, the hydraulic chum will be uh, formed and the gentle slope admitted timber traffic. Hence the fall worked admit, uh, admirably. However, there was a very high of a cost of a construction. It requires the greater cost of a construction. Hence we neglect and we should not adopt this rapid fall. Then we have a stepped fall. See, step fall uh, has uh, was a next development of the rapid fall. So once we provide this, yes, if this is the section, once we provide this section, uh, so it looks like a step. So water will allow to pass over here. So because of this section, water will get fall here, then again rises, again flows for certain distance, again falls down, again certainly rises, again flows for the distance, again uh, decrease, decrease their uh, or falls down and again increase and again flows down. So it looks like a certain stepped structure. So the in the such type in this uh, seat. One such type was provided at the tail of main canal escape of a Sarda canal. And the cost of this fall is also a very high. So, amongst of this, you will get idea that Ogi fall has certain uh, importance, that much of importance. So, by providing that Ogi fall, we, we should get a very uh, important, very proper um, flow discharge through this canal. Then notch fall, certainly the uh, notch will be provided. Uh, after the development of the step fall, the efficiency of vertical impact on the floor for energy dissipation came to be recognized. The vertical fall came in filled along with the system. However, with the greater discharges, vertical fall gave trouble. Hence, there were suppressed for a time by the notch fall. The trapezoidal notch fall was first designed by Wright in 1864. So, the notch fall looks like this. This is your canal section. So in this part here, they are generally provided the notches like this. So through these notches, water will get and water is allowed to pass through this section so that the energy that will be carrying along with this water will get depressed and will get dissipated. Then vertical drop. It's a free fall type uh, fall. So, just uh, by uh, depressing the or uh, by uh, providing the depression zone and depression surface area in the path of the water. So, this fall will be uh, constructed. Then we have a glacis type fall. The efficiency of this hydraulic jump as a very potent means of a destroying the energy of a canal falls. So certainly the glacius type of a fall utilizes the standing wave phenomena for dissipation of energy. So it generally consists of a straight glacis, parabolic glacis, etc. etc. So in this type we have a English fall. So this is something regarding the fall. By providing this fall, we should control and we should dissipate the kinetic energy of the flowing water. Thanks for watching this video.